Welcome to Kingsman the Secret Service. Alright, after some fuck colorblind people logo, we open up with some spy people doing some spy shit somewhere in the Middle East, and one of them spy people jumps on a live grenade and protects everybody in the room. Hooray, he's a hero, but he's also dead. So jump over to England, and we got one of them spy people that was in the room that got saved by this dude, and he's over by this dude's wife, and he gives her a medallion that's like a get out of jail free card because he feels bad and partly responsible for that dude dying. She's like, fuck you, I don't want your charity. So he just gives a medallion to her son. And seven years later we got another spy dude doing some other spy shit in snowy Argentina then he gets sliced in half by this evil hoe and I just want you to listen to this That is the sound of her walking around, moving and doing shit, alright? So how the fuck does he not hear her moving around with her fucking sword feet that go clickety clackety wherever the fuck she goes, huh? And she opens the door for the main bad guy who pukes at the sight of blood. He's a pussy. Now cut back to the gangsman and they just found out that one of their agents died. So they warn him by drinking some scotch and then they begin the process of finding a new replacement for him. So each kingsman is supposedly going to go out and find the candidate. Or, yeah, a candidate to take his place. Now, remember the kid that got the get out of jail free card from Harry? Boom, he's all going up now. And his name is Eggsy. That's right, Eggsy. I'm sure no one will ever make fun of that name ever. And his mom is married to this prick, I guess. So he goes to hang with his friends, then steals this c***'s car, fucks with it a bit, and gets into a spot of bother with the roses. Then, bam, brainwave, I'm gonna use the get out of jail free card. And he gets out of jail. Duh. And Harry's the one that got him out. So he meets him, and they have a chat in the pub over how and why Eggsy's life went so bad since he was gonna be a Marie and he was super athletic, very smart, and blah blah blah, okay? And then the cops that Eggsy stole the car from come in and they want to whoop Eggsy's ass, but Harry whips out the reverse card and whoops their asses. And by the way, if that thing is shot hard enough to make him do a backflip, it shouldn't actually make him do a backflip, it would either tear his fucking head clean off or pierce a hole through his skull. Just saying, this dude's not stunned, he's dead. Dude's fucking dead. Anyway, Eggsy goes home and he starts getting beat up by his stepdad. I'm not really sure if he's really a stepdad. I don't think they're married yet, but I don't care really. He fucks his mom. He's a motherfucker, okay? The motherfucker is beating the shit out of him because he wants to know who beat the shit out of his gang or boys or whatever in the pub. But Eggsy's like, no, I won't tell you. So Harry scares the motherfucker using some speakers and shit, telling him he knows stuff and he can fucking get him locked up with some shit, I don't know. And he tells Eggsy to get to a tailor shop named Kingsman somewhere in London. So Eggsy escapes using some sweet, sweet parkour, makes it to the tailor shop, and bada bing bada boom, Harry's there. And it's a super secret spy location. So they go into a changing room and use an elevator type thing to go down. Then they get into a tube, come out the tube, and a super secret spy headquarters. And Eggsy is Harry's candidate for the dead dude spot. And this is like a job offer type deal. So Eggsy's about to go into a training course or a testing phase, whatever, along with a bunch of other high class posh wankers who all hate and make fun of Eggsy except for this bitch. And whoever passes all the tests and doesn't get eliminated in a single one gets to be the dude's replacement. Cool beans, cool beans. Now cut to the evil guy having a meeting with Obama. Now cut back to the candidates and they're getting their first test which I like to call drown them bitches. So most of them go and breathe toilet air but Eggsy's like ew fuck that shit and then he fucking breaks two way glass and fixes the water issue. Now cut to Harry and he's interrogating the dude that was supposedly kidnapped by the evil guy that the other Kingsman agent died trying to save. But while interrogating him the dude's head blows up and Harry escapes and ends up in a coma because of the explosion. How? I don't know. He seemed fine after but I do know that the evil guy had put a chip in the guy's neck and remotely blew his head up because he thought he was gonna snitch and snitches get stitches. How this chip head blowy uppy shit works I don't know it's another case of them movie signs. Now back to the candidates and they all get their very own doc and they also get a bunch of tests some of them get eliminated. Harry stays in a coma, evil guy prints a bunch of evil sim cards, Harry's still in a coma and goes a beard, the posh cunts fuck with Eggsy and his dog. Come on Eggsy! Oh, what's wrong, mate? Well, they fucking drenched the fucking dog. What a cunt. Harry wakes up and the evil guy has a meeting with the Swedish princess and the Swedish prime minister and he explains to them his evil plan. And the Swedish prime minister is all on board for it, but the princess is no go. So he kills her guards and traps her along with a bunch of other celebrities that don't like his fucking plan but are big influencers and might fuck with his uh, plan. Yeah. Then the candidates jump out of a plane as a test and are told midair that one of them doesn't have a parachute. And after a butt clenching moment, they all make it down they're alive but three of them are eliminated. And next he's like, oh you want cow why'd you have to take the fucking parachute away from me then the ball guy aka merlin dope name by the way is like everyone have parachutes bitch <laughs> got he <laughs> got he <laughs> harry goes on cover into a meeting with the evil guy to gather some more intel 
Okay, seriously, how the fuck does this bitch sneak up on him? I still don't get it. We have some McDonald's. Evil guy finds out that Harry's a spy and he puts a tracker in his fucking drink and gives out a bunch of free SIM cards to the entire planet. Then the last three candidates get another test. I'm gonna stop referring to them as candidates from now on. I'm gonna call them c bitch and Exy. I don't know why I mentioned Exy again. I already said his name a bunch of times, but whatever, moving on. So their loyalty to Kingsman gets tested and Exy and the bitch pass with flying colors, but the c fails miserably. Then Harry takes Exy to make a bespoke Kingsman bulletproof suit, but fit Fitting room 1 is taken and 1 does not utilize fitting room 2 when 1 is losing his suit making virginity. So while they wait for the dude in fitting room 1 to finish, they go and check out some guns and cool spy shit in a secret room behind fitting room 3. So you mean to tell me that no one in the history of this shop ever being open and Kingsman being a thing has ever used fitting room 3 and put their coat on the leftmost hanger accidentally opening this secret room? Bullshit. Anyway, he shows him some cool tech like this shoe that has a knife that pops out when you click your heels together and apparently it's coated with one of the most poisonous substances known to man. And once again, if you're telling me that no Kingsman Asian has ever like walked funny or tripped and accidentally clicked his heels and fucking cut himself a small cut and killed himself, that has never happened. Bullshit. Never mind, the dude fitting room 1 turns out to be the evil guy. So Harry tracks him and the bitch and Exy are told to shoot their dog as a test of how good they can follow orders. Exy doesn't do it but the bitch apparently has no soul and does and she gets the job. Then Harry's like, bitch you couldn't shoot a dog, I shot mine, you shot your dog? It was a blank dipshit. Uh... My bed. Then Harry suddenly gets some intel that the evil guy will be at a racist, homophobic, anti-fucking everything, all bad, no good church in Kentucky somewhere. So he tells Exy to stay put and he goes over to that church in Kentucky and doesn't seem to find the evil guy anywhere. So he tries to leave but then he decides to fucking kill half of the church on his own while the rest of the church kills each other, okay? In the most spectacular and fucking fascinating fight sequence ever. Fucking watch that shit. Turns out evil guy was nearby and he turned a knob and made all the phones that have his sim card in it emit this radio frequency i guess that makes everyone within range violent as shit and want to kill each other and he plans to do this to the entire planet so he can whittle down the population of the earth because he's basically trying to thanos it and all the world leaders and powerful people and influencers and shit that he met he explained his plan to them and if they didn't agree with him he imprisoned them and if they did he would be like okay dope and put a fucking chip in their neck that would make them impervious or immune to the radio frequency and also give him the ability to fucking blow their head up it's a bad Right? Only felt a thing. <laughs> so after explaining all this to Harry, he shoots him in the head. And then Exy goes to fucking Alfred here. I don't know, he, I guess he's the, like the lead spy or something, or the head spy. I don't know, he just sits at the end of the table, I guess that means he's important. So Alfred's like, hey, let's drink some alcohol to honor the death of Harry. So they do that, and Exy finds out that Alfred is on the evil guy's side, and Alfred tries to poison Exy, but Exy pulls the old switcheroo on him, and Alfred is the one that ends up drinking the poison. Which is all cool and all, but when did Alfred poison his drink? This pen secretes the poison, and this switch activates the poison. I did not see him put no fucking poison and no fucking cup, that's bullshit. Whatever, Alfred gets fucked and Exy pulls out the chip that's in Alfred's neck and gives it to Merlin. So they find the evil guy's hideout and they go over there and they come up with a plan to stop him. And how close does the plane have to be before this thing fires? Because it seems pretty fucking close to me here. If it blows up at this distance, it will probably fucking crash into the mountain and destroy the entrance. This thing is fucking useless. Anyway, the bitch also uses two giant helium testicles to get to the edge of the atmosphere and fucking blow up one of the evil guy's satellites so it kind of fucks with his plans a bit. And Exy goes in there and accesses his a fucking network or some shit, I don't know. And he finds the cunt, punches him out, and then escapes while not being shot in the head by any of the guards, makes the plan, and then the evil guy just brings in another satellite and fixes the issue so that the plan didn't work and just slowed him down. So Exy needs to go back in there and kill him. He runs back in there and immediately gets overwhelmed by guards who do not shoot for the head again, and so does Merlin. They pull in this useless fucking thing and point it at him. God, at least back up a bit. Aren't you a little bit close to the explosion radius or some shit? I mean, it's already a terrible idea to fucking shoot that thing doors. I swear these guards are fucking dipshits. But then Merlin activates all the neck chips and blows up all the rich people's heads and the guards heads. And it's spectacular. But the evil guy and his bitch put no such chips in their head because they're smarter than that. And he starts the signal and the world starts going to shit. So Exy has to rush in there and fucking kill him. But the evil guy's bitch jumps down to protect him and she fights Exy in a breakdance fight and it ends in an abnormally high slow-mo kung fu jump where Exy cuts her with a small poison foot knife and she turns into a lizard and 
fucking dies. Then Eggsy takes his sweet ass time to kill the evil guy. Sure it was a nice throw and all, but the world's going to shit and you're standing here looking cool? What the fuck? Fucking kill him already. Doesn't matter, evil guy throws up and dies. Eggsy fucks a princess and then he beats up his stepdad. This movie gets a nice cool egg out of egg.